Good evening, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight, we're going to do a brief overview of our lower unit on our 26-foot center console. It's a 1991 Mako that my son and I uh, put back together. It took us three years to rebuild it. Um, you can check out our blog, and it kind of goes through that entire process of what we did uh, from the time that we bought it to the time that we finished it. Very proud of the work we did um, last summer, last fall. We noticed that our counter-rotating lower unit wasn't going into gear just right. Um, and then our last trip when we were trying to reverse out from the dock, um, all we got was a clicking and a clanking. Uh, we did a few things to try and uh, troubleshoot. We adjusted the shift cable. We took the lower unit off, checked the oil, and checked the shift shaft to make sure it was at the correct height, put everything back together, same problem. Diagnosis was the reverse gear in the lower unit went bad and uh, our only option was to rebuild it or replace it. We have a trip plan, a fishing trip plan, and some time at the beach that we're gonna bring you guys along on, uh, but we gotta have a lower unit that works. What we elected to do was to get a, a remanufactured uh, new old stock unit. Uh, we found a company in Florida that matched our lower unit to one that they had. Uh, they got it here in two days, which is fantastic from Florida. And um, this video is gonna be about taking a few parts off of the old loader unit and then showing you the new one. Enjoy the video. All right, we're out in the garage right now. Um, this is the lower unit off of our 26 foot Mako. Um, we've got twin 2007 E-Tech 150s. And last year when putting the boat in reverse, we found that uh, this counter rotating lower unit uh, wasn't going into reverse and it would grind and grind and grind and grind. So I want to gonna go show you kind of a couple of things about it. We're gonna take the prop off, take the shift shaft off, and uh, get it prepared for uh, putting onto the new lower unit that we'll unbox and put back together just so you all can see it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shift it into forward so it locks and you can see what that's like, and then we'll shift it into reverse and you can see what I'm talking about. It's in reverse and just spinning. Back to neutral. And now we're locked. You can see the drive shaft works, but when you put it in reverse, all we do is click. So the reverse gears on this thing are shot. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the prop off, take the screens off, and unscrew the shift shaft. So we'll actually, we'll do that first, since that's uh, super easy to do. But the new lower unit comes without a zinc. So the zinc anode, it doesn't come, of course, with a prop, um, and it doesn't come with a shift shaft. It comes with a drive shaft, and uh, I bought the brand new water pump kit for it. So basically all we have to do is Put the drive shaft in, click it into place because it's a two-piece shaft, uh, install our prop, install the zinc, and then if you look down here, there are some intake screens. We gotta take these off and put them on the new unit as well. So let's just get to taking stuff. So the shift shaft just unscrews. And let's right out, just that easy. The, man, the, the manual's got a shift height uh, for the shift lever, so we can figure all that stuff out when we put the new one in, just make sure that it's correct. All right, so it's pretty simple stuff. Just take and bend the cotter pin. Pull it out, pull the retaining cap off, put 
Take your wrench. got a washer that seats the prop on the back. That just breaks it free. That's all. Super simple. So this is the prop that's made, um, the kind of rotating prop that's for the engine. We're running the Mercury Marine Mirage. Uh, these are what uh, came on the motors when I got them. They've worked flawlessly for me ever since. So haven't had any issues with them at all. Then we got to just. Make me up. You may have to do some work to get that off, but it looks like it's salted on there pretty good. So we'll soak that down and it'll slide right off. But this is just taking these intake screens off. Pretty simple stuff. This just keeps all the crap from getting in the in the motor. It shouldn't make any difference, but I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. Oh, there it goes. I'm glad that I did that. So they have uh, screws going in each way. Um, so be wary of that so you're not breaking something. And I'll pop that side out. And this should just pop right up. There it is. All right. All we did was we soaked in a little WD-40. No dramatic effect, you just let it sit for a little bit. And then it just slides right off. This has uh, got a cone to it. So this is what actually slides on the shaft and holds the repeller back uh, from the prop housing. So we'll clean all this up uh, and get all the crap off of it before we put it back on. So you know, everything's in pretty good shape. So. That's all we got for that. All right, so here we have the, the new lower unit. This is how it comes packaged. So we have the gear case, water pump kit, and all the hardware that we need uh, to put everything together. We have the uh, water tube intake so this is what gives the speed sensor on the the boat something to read uh, to tell what the water speed is through the pitot tube seal and gasket so this goes around um, basically the uh, the fin that a bolt it bolts up down here and this just seals this against it so you don't have corrosion so as you can see it looks uh, just like the other one the only difference is that the the drive shaft uh, is not in place so there's this is a, this lower unit's got a two-piece drive shaft um, and when they rebuild these uh, they build it so that the the upper drive shaft just slides in and clicks in and then the water pump holds it tight. And I'll show you what that drive shaft looks like. 
they do come uh, without oil in them, so you just have to remember you got to put gear oil in the things. And this is what the drive shaft looks like. So if you see this part slides down into the to the lower unit and then the pin that's already in there will slide in and then locks this in place. So it does feel a little bit loose um, when you initially put it in, uh, but the water pump will true that up and the pin that locks this in place um, is just designed uh, to hold the shaft from moving up and down. Um, but once it positively locks in, um, it's not coming out unless you take the gear case apart. I just wanted to show you what all this looks like. Uh, the next video uh, we put together will be about uh, assembling the drive shaft, putting the water pump kit on, screwing in the shift selector, putting the anodes, the screens all on, uh, putting the prop in, filling it with oil. And then after that, um, on Sunday, uh, we're going to go and install it. We'll video installing it, and then we're going to take it for a C trial, and we'll video the C trial as well. Thanks for watching.